All right, here's my CRF 300 rally. Uh, so I haven't ridden this bike since February, and so it's November now. Let's see, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So it's not been nine months since I last rode this bike. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, that I didn't. I had I thought I had ridden it a lot more than I did uh, when I was riding it the first couple months. I just got busy. Um, and I just checked the uh, the odometer. Oh, where's my keys? I don't know where my keys are. Anyways, I checked the odometer last night. I had less than 600 miles, so I was like, <laughs> it's barely broken in. It's like, oh, I better take, up, take it for a ride. And uh, today was a perfect day. It was raining the last few days. Um, so everything was wet and muddy, you know, all the dirt roads and such a muddy. So I decided to take a dirt road to work. Uh, take one of the longer route to work. And I, uh, on a very steep incline, that, that dirt road that I went up, normally most of it has has lots of rocks, so so it gives you some traction. But that section that that I uh, that I went up, it was steep and it was just like a small patch, you know, maybe like 50 feet or so, 100 feet at most. There was like pretty much no dirt or no uh, no rocks at all. It was just dirt, so it was really muddy and it was real steep. And I was like my back end was slipping and sliding all over the place. I was like, oh man, I need a I can't stop my. Uh, momentum because it was too steep and if I if I st go too slow I would lose the momentum and I won't be able to make it up so uh, so I was trying to keep it up and my back end was kind of all over the place and I uh, actually ended up uh, falling over when I fell over you can see it's sort of here right here so the impact right here and and right here and I'm not sure where else you know I didn't I looked it over and I didn't really see anything else um, I was screwed up let's see if it's yeah, that, that, I'm not sure that's a fall or not. This right here, this is from, uh, this is not from, from this fall, this is from uh, from Cannonball, Scooter Cannonball. So that's a different thing. So anyways, so because of, because I, I mainly, you know, dropped it on my left side and, and it hit right here, the handguard, it actually shifted the handguard in. So you can see right here, see where the handguard was, the clamp was, and it actually shifted in somewhat. Uh, and it shifted in enough where I couldn't, I couldn't operate my clutch. Basically, my clutch was like, it was like that. The most I could operate it was like, like, you know, only like about this that much. So that was the range right there. It was like, and I was like, oh man, I couldn't operate it. So I had a hard time. Stalled several times. Uh, and then, you know, I was still stuck in that spot. So I had to kind of roll, roll the bike back down in a to a flatter spot, downhill, uh, and kind of. You know, did what I could, and uh, I got up. And anyways, um, now I'm at work, so I just you know I loosened up the clamp, loosened this up, up right here, adjusted it. So now I have the full range of motion again. Oops, not quite. Oops, still got stuck right there. So, so I guess the thing is still a little tweak. Actually, if I push, you know, if I push the lever downwards, it hits it hits the the handguard. But if I push the lever upwards, it carries it. So. So maybe I need to adjust this this thing down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it still hits it. So, anyways, it's a little tweak. Maybe my handlebar might be tweaked too. So you know, the the factory handlebar is not very strong, so it bends really easily. So it could be tweaked as well. But I couldn't tell riding. I couldn't tell. But anyways, yeah. So it's been a while since I rode this bike. So decided to ride it today. Uh, so anyway, so yeah. So that was my first. I guess I guess you could call it my first crash. Uh, I had pumped when I went at home. I had pumped the tires to uh, 15 because I knew I was going going on that road and I knew it was going to be muddy. So 15 front and rear. For the most part, it seemed to be okay. You know, there's a few spots again. You know, like I said, it was kind of muddy and steep where it's slippery. Um, and there were other parts where it was like slipping and sliding, but it wasn't that steep, so so it wasn't so bad. But uh, but that spot was really steep and and muddy. That's when I when I was going to that spot. I was I was seated too. I was I did not uh, I wasn't standing. I stay seated. Uh, usually I tend to, when, when I'm going slow, I find that when I'm going slow, I seem to have better balance staying seated than I do standing up. Maybe because this, I don't know, maybe I need some, to change the handlebars or something to uh, to uh, maybe adjust that standing up position. Because when I'm standing up and I'm holding onto the handlebars, and I'm not that tall of a rider, you know, I'm not that tall, I'm only 5'6", five, 5'7", five, on a good day. And when I'm, st and when I'm standing and holding on the handlebars, it feels like, I'm not really standing. It feels like I'm, I have to like hunch over, and that that causes my balance to be kind of off a little bit. So so I actually feel better 
better balance of steering as he did, but I also I think that's from uh, from bicycles, you know, when I use for mountain bike mainly. When I mountain bike over technical stuff, uh, going uphill, going uphill over technical stuff, I find that um, lots of times I'm, I'm uh, when I, especially when I'm going really slow, I'm actually more balanced when I stay seated. If I stand up uh, on a bicycle, on a mountain bike, when you stand up and pedal, especially going uphill really slow, it puts too much weight on the pedal on a downstroke, and it, you know, and it causes you to spin out. So staying seated uh, puts less power on on the downstroke. So so I'm used to that. So that's why I'm used to staying seated on a on a bike as well, on a motorcycle. And I, you know, I don't have much of a dirt bike background, so so not much of a dirt biker. Uh, anyways, yeah. So that's the status of uh, of the bike. So now it doesn't look new anymore. You know, before I, I took it off to work uh the bike still look look new because they you know it had less than 600 miles but you know now it's all now it's all dirty and such you know not too bad but still anyway so that's the status and the update of the bike um all right thanks for watching